This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a lady who has heard about a new testing method called mass spectrometry. This is something that I have uh, talked about before, uh, but she is asking if I can perhaps explain uh, more fully, uh, and I'm certainly glad to do this. And so the key thing is that we have several methods available to evaluate uh, myeloma proteins. The traditional approach that we use right now is to use serum protein electrophoresis and immunofixation. With those two tests, we can determine the amount and the type of a myeloma protein. And so this is the standard method. The new mass spectrometry method is a new technique which focuses on the exact mass or weight of the myeloma protein, which is very, very precise. And this allows, uh, with this technology, to monitor uh, the exact uh, level of this weight of protein in the serum. So using a simple serum test, you can measure the amount of this protein, and the technique also allows you to characterize the type of the protein. So it could be, for example, IgG kappa. And so this is information which is similar to SPEP plus immunofixation, uh, but actually better, uh, uh, more sensitive, and uh, more precise. And so what is the uh, expectation for mass spectrometry moving forward? Well, it is uh, very sensitive for day-to-day -day monitoring. And what is even more interesting is that with some extra technical enhancement, it's actually possible to improve the methodology so that sensitivity can be down to the range of 10 to the minus 6, which can pick up uh, at a level of myeloma cells which is zero out of a million, which is what we use for typical minimal residual disease testing using NGF or NGS. And so it could be quite amazing if a simple serum test using mass spectrometry could be used both for initial diagnosis and for monitoring day to day and even down to the level of MRD negativity. And so there is a lot of excitement about the availability of this test. At the present time, samples can be sent to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, where testing is possible uh, using a, a routine uh, lab request. In the uh, latter part of this year and into next year, testing will be available at a variety of other centers across the country, and there is a high level of expectation that the FDA will actually go ahead and approve this technology uh, relatively soon. And so the bottom line is that this is an exciting new sensitive test uh, for the evaluation of myeloma, which could really uh, transform the way that we assess uh, the disease in a very quantitative, quantitative way, in a very sensitive way, and uh, in a very simple way with a blood uh, serum test, which fortunately turns out to be quite inexpensive. It looks like the cost of this testing will be less than uh, $200 per test. And so very, very important to be uh, aware of the upcoming availability of this new testing methodology.